Oh, oh. Sorry, I'm allergic to flaccid penises, and I'm super soft right now. What's up, everybody? It's Critical. I'm playing Past Cure. Let's do this shit. That's a cool magic trick, but is it enough to fool Pin and Teller? Oh, now we're fucking cooking. It's a zombie, and it's the main character from Heavy Rain. I forgot his name. The main character model really does look like the guy from Heavy Rain. It's a candle wax zombie. The worst kind. The most deadly form. The zombie of birthday cakes. Past. Well, not of birthday cakes. But the candles on the birthday cakes, I guess. He's here to avenge them. This is so fucking tedious. This is nothing but a shooting gallery tutorial. And it's been going on for over 10 minutes. It probably over 20. I get I get the shooting mechanics. It's not reinventing the condom here. It you, you know, you still it's still penis. It's still dicks here. God. So long for such little payoff and fun. Oh, please be the end. I can't if if another fucking door opens with the War of the World stock sound effect, I'm going to shit my pants and scream. I'm gonna scream because I shit my pants and I'll be upset with myself, but I'll probably shit my pants because of this catalyst. Oh, thank god, it was just a wet dream. Stay what? strong, Chief. What is this? It's a tactical water break. You never heard of it before? Where am I? Wait, wait, please, hold the elevator. I've got business to attend to. Please, Ian. You have to hurry. Uh... Trust me, lady, I really am. Oh, now we're fucking getting on the good foot here. I'll be there lickety-split. Give me that tit. Here I come, baby. Brace for Big Daddy Ian. What the fuck was that? Did she just get me with the oldest trick in the book? The old low five, too slow? Holy lord. Fucking roasted. We've made it to the legendary treasure of thirst-quenching water. Oh, it says... Curf... Curf of the moof... It all makes sense now. <gasps> now. Now there's no pee on it. Now it just doesn't make any sense. This means nothing to me anymore. It's a shame that we're losing all of these beautiful letters. This man lives alone in this house and yet he has those on his fucking, uh, fridge. Oh, sweet heavens, a burglar urgler are. Who let bad guy McTrinchcoat into my, my flat? You've got some serious explaining to do, buddy. <gasps> he was a wizard the whole time. The world used to live in harmony. That is until the mannequin nation attacked my fucking house. Looks like the engineers from the Prometheus movie. That hangover's finally hitting Ian hard. Start jerking off, my friend. It really does help a lot. Press 4 to refill your sanity. If only it was that easy in real life, huh? If only you just had some dry blue cereal, some fucking fruity pebbles in a little pill container, you could pop and feel instantly not insane. Man, that'd make things a lot easier. There's a lot of crazy people out there. I guarantee there's gonna be a cutscene when I open this door. Hundred- Fuck, I was wrong. Right now, this entire game just consists of walking ten steps and getting a cutscene. Oh, this is gonna be a cutscene, no doubt in my mind. Cutscene. Yep, now we're fucking cooking, baby. This game just beats your whole fucking face in with exposition. This is nothing but story vomiting in your face. Just queefing story in every possible aspect. There's no gameplay here. It's just story. You think it's a game? No, it's a story. Nothing but a story. God, and I don't even care about the fucking story because I'm just getting beat to shit with it. God, I hate this. I hate when they just... You know, give you a exposition enema. They don't let you get any story just from playing the game because there is no game to play. It's just cutscenes upon cutscenes upon cutscenes upon cutscenes. The only gameplay is moving a couple of steps for the next cutscene. Can't wait to walk straight for ten steps and get another cutscene. There's more fucking gameplay in Dear Esther than here. Past cure, more like ass pure, because this is pure ass. Or uh, I'd like to get past. All the fucking cutscenes and get a game out of this. Goodness gracious! Blocky 5. The Minecraft remix. Blocky Paloa. I just like that name. Just when you thought it was safe on the block. Am I actually gonna get to fight something or is it gonna be a cutscene of fighting? Oh my goodness, it looks like I'm in control. 
It's such a shame, too, because a lot of effort clearly went into this game, but it's so misplaced right now. I've been playing for about 40 minutes, and it's been nothing but cutscenes and walking from cutscene to cutscene. This right now is the most action I've gotten since the gun shooting tutorial, which feels like ages ago. I mean, it's not the most refined combat, but god damn it, I'll take fucking anything here. I, you, I really do like games like this. But it's just way too much emphasis on cutscenes for story, instead of just letting the story evolve through actual gameplay. It's such a shame. No, oh, no, did someone remove my coloring from the fridge? I was so proud of it too. Huh. A Y. That's perfect, yeah. Why for why the fuck is this game so goddamn boring? Past cure. More like boredom cure, not not curing boredom. Instead we're creating it. Peels. I don't understand the relevance of that. I just chose a random word. Uh, cannonballs. Pipe. Hair. Oh, there it is. Not even ten steps that time. I like it. Oh, it's an origami bird. Maybe this really is, like, heavy rain. This must be a spin-off. Set in another universe. Whoa. That's just what I was going to do, though. How'd they know? What the fuck? They're a fortune teller. We gotta get out of here, Ian. Someone wants us to go to sleep. Does he not really care? Is the objective still to go to sleep despite that note? I should get some sleep. I guess so, yeah. No, we really should get some sleep. Even the note said so. It was a Christmas letter from Santa to us. The only thing on his wish list was for us to go to sleep. Fantastic stuff. Another great cutscene. Poor man made out of semen and fell asleep playing chess. Can I at least play chess? That'll be the most exciting gameplay so far. And some of the only gameplay I've experienced in this game so far. Of oh, fucking course not. No, maybe it'll be a cutscene of chess gameplay. The king is useless. You don't know whose asshole you're rubbing. Queen. You're dealing with raw thunder on the chessboard. You heard of Magnus Carlsen? Well, I'm better. They call me Magnum Opus. Because I'm a work of art when it comes to chess genius. All right. This really seems pretty simple, Ian. And it doesn't even look like the queen's in jeopardy, because you can just take the pawn and be totally safe. What the fuck is wrong with you? Ian has clearly never played chess before. Why can't I breathe? You can't breathe because the move was so bad your body is shutting down. It fucking took my breath away too, Ian. Are you fucking kidding me? You don't trade pawns when your queen is in jeopardy. He's not going to take your pawn, he's going to take your queen with his pawn. What? Jesus. Fucking amateur. No, there's no mulligans in chess. What are you doing? Wow. He showed mercy on you then. When the pawn is in danger, so am I. Is this supposed to mean It means you're a shitty chess player, Ian. That's that's really all it means. It's almost as if the game is just spitting in my face. I finally get some gameplay out of the cutscenes, and it's just more tutorial. This is just this is way too much tutorial. Maybe the controls are Oh my goodness. I will say I do like this this superpower here, the astral projection. I think that's cool. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. One thing's for sure. This this game does not cure boredom. It creates it. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is just going to be a tutorial, tutorial puzzle-solving fest. Just... Nothing but astral projection usage to really get you familiar with it. But why? I've never projected that far before. Oh. I mean, I understand introducing new mechanics, but if you're gonna give me the same tasks every t Oh no. And it's not even like these are complicated mechanics. A, a child, a baby child, a toddler baby child toddler could figure these out. I. I don't need multiple levels explaining how to use this astral projection. It's so straightforward. It's so straightforward. I'm gonna give it till the end of this one. This better just go from this fucking horrible puzzle solving, which isn't even puzzle solving, it's just puzzling that they thought this was a good idea. It better go from this shit to the most incredible high testosterone action I've ever seen in a video game. Or I'm, I'm just gonna call it quits here. This is just... 
this is just not fun at all right now. Maybe the game gets a lot better, and that's what I'm hoping for, but I just can't keep powering through these tutorials. Just tutorial on top of tutorial on top of cutscene on top of cutscene. It's just not fun. Holy shit. It's not often I'll play a game that's bad, and I wouldn't even consider this a bad game. It's not often while I play one and I'm like, God, I'm, I'm dreading this, I just want to be done. But this is just so monotonous, so tedious. Every single thing here moves so slow. Holy shit. Oh my goodness. It's like this game's universe exists through a layer of molasses. Everything is slow as it could possibly be. Yeah, refill my sanity for real. I'm fucking going nuts over here. This is so boring. I really hope that's the end of the tutorial. If it's not, I'm turning it off right here and right now. Okay, good. This looks like a hallway to more fun. It better be going somewhere funny, and it better be going somewhere that's not a fucking tutorial. If it's another tutorial, it's it's just gonna make my eyes pee pee tears. Oh, oh, that just hurts to see. Really, you you don't need to just keep hitting me with this sledgehammer of mechanics training. It's not even mechanically challenging. Your tutorials boil down to doing the same task, but multiple times, more times, and in different locations. Look, even Ian, fuck more switches, he knows it sucks dick too. You can acknowledge it isn't fun. I just don't even understand, it's not like it even changes. It's a, uh, here, touch this switch, but this time we put the switch in uh, this plastic container. Touch it now. Hell, here's the switch again, but this time we put it in a bendy straw. I'm fucking done playing this, goodness.